all of the mainstream media at that time had one narrative. And we know why, because they were funded through the government to have that narrative. And so they weren't doing the job of journalists. Mark Stein had a different narrative and he was shut down for having that different narrative. But if Ofcom's entire premise is to provide balance in the media, surely they should have supported him in being the only voice to have a different approach. And, and in, instead they've said, look, what you said is inappropriate because it wasn't what your other colleagues were saying. I don't understand. I honestly don't understand that that thought process. Um, even GB News at the time was saying, "Well, what he did is he presented his view as the only view." And I'm like, "Yeah, but I, I hear other views every single place I look on every other show on our channel, on our station, on, on every other station, in every newspaper. I see other views all over." He is the first one to say, "Look, these vaccines may be causing damage," and now. Months later, years later, we have more context and we see even the mainstream media outlets are starting to admit the truth that these so-called vaccines are potentially causing damage uh, to, to young people's hearts. And so surely if we're going to side on the benefit of caution, we should side on protecting people from potential damage to their hearts. And so Mark was right all along.